sir we are now live please start the meeting proceedings thank you very much ladies and gentlemen good morning to each one of you i am rajyavardhan kanoria chairman of the and i am participating in this meeting from new delhi from my office in new delhi and i'd like to warmly welcome each one of you to the 62nd annual general meeting of your company it's an absolute pleasure as always to connect with you and i know that now the system has become virtual but i think this also helps in keeping the proceedings smooth and it saves the company some money it's a privilege to host you again today and i do hope that each one of you is safe and healthy uh i'd like to thank you for your continued trust support and encouragement to the company and its management and before i proceed further may i please introduce to you uh the members of our board and our executive staff so starting with mr amitabh kothari who is the independent non executive director and the chairman of the audit committee he is participating from kolkata <clears throat> shri ravi nath he is independent non executive director and he is participating from delhi shri hemant kumar khetan independent non executive director and chairman of the stakeholders relationship committee and the nomination and remuneration committee he is also participating from kolkata shri ji parthasarthi independent non executive director he is participating from delhi shrimati madhuvanti kanoria is non executive non independent director and she is also participating from delhi and shri samyavardhan kanoria whole time director he is also participating from new delhi <coughs> uh other than that we have uh, ashish agarwal who is the chief executive for the textile business mr nk nolka the cfo of the company and mr nk sethia the secretary of the company the partners of jkvs and company the statutory auditors and vinod kothari and company the secretarial auditors of the company have also joined the meeting and shri amit choraria practicing chartered accountant has been appointed as a scrutinizer to scrutinize the e voting process in a fair and transparent manner and also joined the meeting now before i proceed further i would also like to place on record that shri ravi nath and shri ji parthasarthi will be retiring as directors of the company at the conclusion of this agm and i'd like to place on record on behalf of the board of directors and i also if i may take the liberty on behalf of all the shareholder company who have joined the meeting for their valuable contribution and for their long stint with the company unfortunately uh, because of uh, the laws as they stand today we are obliged uh, that they retire at the end of this uh, agm but i would also like to really thank both uh, ravi and mr parthasarthi for for their contribution for their guidance and for their help throughout their stint as directors of the company thank you very much mr chairman i would now request shri narendra kumar sethia company secretary to confirm that the requisite quorum is present and brief the shareholders regarding the procedure of e voting and participation in this meeting in accordance with the prevailing laws and circular is stood there under i confirm that the requisite quorum is present through video conferencing and the meeting is in order good morning dear shareholders the 62nd agm of your company is being held through video conferencing in compliance with the relevant circulars issued by mca and sebi since the agm is being held through video conferencing physical attendance of members has been dispensed with facility for joining the meeting through video conferencing has been made available to the members 30 minutes before the commencement the, of the agm for the smooth conduct of the meeting all members are in mute mode and members who have pre registered themselves as speakers at the agm would be unmuted when invited to speak we request the speakers to unmute their audio video after their names are called 
and to express their views or ask questions, preferably within three minutes, to help us manage the time. In case there is any connectivity issue at the speaker's end, we will request the next speaker to express his or views or ask questions, if any. Opportunity may be provided to the earlier speaker after all other registered speakers have spoken. As per the applicable provisions of the Companies Act 2013 and listing regulations and the rules thereunder, the company had provided the facility of remote e voting on the resolution proposed at this 62nd AGM, created for a remote e voting commenced on Monday, the 29th August 2022 at 9 a.m. and ended on Wednesday, the 31st August 2022 at 5 p.m. Members who are participating in the AGM and have not cast their votes by remote e-voting may cast their votes during the AGM through e-voting system of NSDN until 15 minutes after conclusion of the meeting. I now request the chairman to please continue the AGM process. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Setia. So I'd also like to confirm that the statutory registrations documents required to be available during the AGM are available for inspection by the members at the NSTL website. The notice of the 62nd annual general meeting dated 26th May 2022 as sent to the members by email and public notice published in the newspapers is also taken as read. The statutory auditor's report on the financial statements of the company for the year ended 31st March 2022 does not have any qualification, reservation or adverse remarks, so there is no need to read the auditor's report. The secretarial auditor's report for the year ended 31st March 2022 also does not have any qualification, reservation or adverse remark, and as such there is no need to read the secretarial audit report. Now, before I take up the items of the agenda, I thought it may be a good idea if I could appraise you about the performance of the company and its subsidiaries and to give you some glimpse of the future outlook by way of a presentation. So may I request uh, Mr. Nolka to please uh, put up the presentation. Thank you. So before I uh, start the presentation, I just want to uh, give recount that uh, the company uh, consists of three major verticals. One is the chemical manufacturing business, which is located in India. The other is the uh, electronic auto component business, which is located out of uh, headquartered in Switzerland, but located out of Europe and uh, Canada. And uh, the third is the textile denim business, which is located out of Ethiopia in Africa. So except for all the historical information and discussions that are contained herein, the statements including in this, included in this presentation may constitute forward-looking statements. These statements involve a number of risks, uncertainties, and other factors that would cause actual results to differ from those that may be projected by these forward-looking statements. So Kanore Chemicals and Industries Limited undertakes no obligation to update forward-looking statements to reflect events and circumstances after the date thereof. So with this disclaimer, I would like to start my presentation. First, I'll go through the historical figures of 2021, as of 2021-22, starting with the standalone results. As you can see, the revenue from operations increased substantially from uh, 30, 387 crores to 649 crores and the EBITDA also improved substantially from 33.37 crores to 70.36 crores. Now largely uh, this was possible because of improved production efficiencies despite the COVID-19 introduced disturbances in the initial months and of course in the previous year because of COVID production was also extremely uh, disturbed. So there have been obviously higher sales volume and also higher realizations. The revenue grew by 67%. Uh, as I've discussed earlier in my earlier AGMs also, the company continues to focus continuously on the cost optimization 
and uh, this is part of the dna of the uh, group where we continue to improve our processes and try and make the plants more and more efficient as much as we can the abita is more than doubled and the operating profit margin at 9.15% against 7.34% in the previous year and there's a lower finance cost and the net profit is 25 crores against a loss in the uh, previous year we come to the electronic auto component uh, business the operations were affected due to the you see i i think here it is very important to understand that uh, covid was the lesser of the two problems uh, the bigger problem has been the global shortage of uh, semiconductors and many of you would be reading in the newspapers every day and in fact in today's paper it says that the auto sales are up by 30% on the uh, easing of the semiconductor uh, component situation so that position definitely is improving but in these last two years i think uh, our electronic auto component business has been largely impacted prime because of the global shortage of semiconductors and lesser impacted because of the uh covid uh the gestation period for the canadian plant however got prolonged again for both the reasons but covid was a bigger factor there because uh, canada had different restrictions uh, for covid as compared to uh, europe the volumes uh, in the business came down because I, we were not able to utilize our capacity fully however revenue grew and revenue grew because uh, the auto companies had to revise the pricing of the of, of the parts that they are buying from us uh, in tune with the increase in prices of the semiconductor raw materials and just to explain i mean we are using about 5000 different types of components uh, as raw material for our production so it's a very complicated uh, uh, industry and it has gone through some very difficult times because of this global shortage but uh, things are easing out and uh, the the future looks much much brighter so the uh, i mean obviously the higher input costs and allocation of fixed overheads was affected because of the lower revenue base and had a material impact on profitability so our net profit was actually uh, a loss of 20 almost 23 crores against a profit of 7.33 crores in the previous year so this so then we come to the next which is kanore africa textiles so you know that business uh, i have shared earlier also with the with the shareholders is that uh, it is a challenging business uh, primarily because of its geography and uh, ethiopia has been going through its ups and downs uh, politically with um, some disturbed situation in the northern part of the country fortunately our production has not been affected and in fact we are doing reasonably well there i would say and um, things have improved substantially as far as production etc is concerned but uh, the first half of the, the pre year ended uh, march 22 was really affected because of the civil unrest and the political crisis which i have talked about uh, the high prices of cotton i think also you might be reading in the newspaper that about 70% of the spinning mills in the south of india have had to curtail or close their production because of the lack of availability and because of the high price of cotton so this continues to be a problem however uh in ethiopia currently cotton is much more competitive so that is actually assisting us in the current year uh, so this explains really why uh, last year was not so good but this year looks much better next so the consolidated uh, revenue from operations went up to 1300 69 crores as against 1094 crores in the previous year our uh, ebita was uh, 
lower as compared to 105.5 crores in the previous year it was 97 crores it was largely affected by a lower profitability of both uh, the electronic auto component business as well as the uh, textile business the chemical business in fact contributed uh, substantially to the to balancing out uh, the profitability we can go to the next slide i don't think i need to repeat these numbers so as far as the future outlook is concerned some of it i have covered already in my uh, presentation up to now but uh, we are in the process right now of setting up a 7000 tons uh, phenolic uh, resin plant at ankleshwar uh, just to remind you that we already have a 5000 ton plant uh, at vishakhapatnam and which is in the eastern part of the country and now we are putting up the 7000 tons uh, plant in ankleshwar with a capital outlay of 30 crores and the plant is expected to be commissioned in the third quarter of this current financial year itself. Uh, there has been a substantial amount of work which has been done uh, for the resin business in terms of develop user uh, developing products for user industries. And we expect a significant growth in paints, laminates, refractories and foundries. Uh, which constitutes really uh, the bulk of our total production, whether it be resins or whether it be our other products like pentarithritol and formaldehyde. So one of the bottlenecks which uh, was there is that Ankleshwar was earlier a sensitive area where no environment clearances were being given for almost 10 years. Now we have received all those environment clearances and that helps us in pursuing future growth at Ankleshwar uh, because uh, fundamentally the demand in the western part of the country is much better than in the eastern part of the country. Then there is also a plan to almost double the formaldehyde capacity at Ankleshwar and that uh, the planning is at its final stage. We are also uh, de-bottlenecking our existing products like pentathletol and we also would like to uh, look at some new geographies uh, for developing the formaldehyde business. We are looking at some new products, products such as triacetin, dinitro, so uh, it's a very complicated name, it's basically called DNPT and also looking at paraformaldehyde, which is the solid form of formaldehyde against the liquid form which we are selling right now. Uh, so these are some of the plans which are currently underway and we are confident that we will be able to make uh, significant progress in, in most of them. Then as far as the electronic auto component business, I've already talked about the availability of semiconductors improving. It's very heartening to note that our order book is extremely healthy. I mean, our uh, annual turnover, uh, as you can see, has been in the region of about 70, 75 million Swiss francs, but our order book is uh, 300 million, uh, which includes now a pipeline in our Canadian North American operations of a, almost a hundred million, which is spread over the next three years. So uh, strategically and in terms of um, the relationship that we have with our customers in terms of the quality that we are able to provide, I think this is displayed in the confidence by the very, very uh, healthy order book. So we expect that the North American operations, which have unfortunately been a drain on uh, on on APAC coast group uh, is likely to reach EBITDA break even levels towards the end of this year. We have also explored the possibility of following into medical devices and have got ourselves already certified under ISO 13485 which is a quality management system which is required for medical devices and also the IEC 60601, which is a safety testing and certification for electrical systems in medical equipment. There is not much breakthrough at the moment, but uh, I mean, research in this field is going on. And we do expect that 
uh, slowly the company will be able to get into the business of medical devices uh, because it, it's synergistic because it, because of the type of quality requirements which the medical industry all has is uh, similar to the type of quality that we deliver for the uh, automotive and uh, electronic components. Uh, we are also very heartened that we have been approached by some very large global players to provide solutions for the requirement of electronic components and they are talking about uh, uh, joining hands with us in ensuring that they get the requirement of uh, components. So what form it will take, I don't know, but um, it, it could be either in the form of joint ventures or it could be in the form of production contracts. But uh, these are very, very promising opportunities that we have and we, we need to find uh, uh, some, you know, ultimately uh, in what will be the structure of this, we don't know. But as a result of that, we are also looking at the possibility of bringing in a strategic partner because that will help us uh, focus on, on cashing in on some of these opportunities which are presenting themselves before us. Then we come to Kanore, Africa. So again, there, as I've already said, one is that the political environment has improved, but, but this is, to be very honest with you, um, one never knows uh, what exactly will happen. I mean, that has been one of the bans of being, of operating in that uh, geography is that there is a lot of uncertainty. The domestic demand is definitely picking up. Our productivity quality has improved substantially. We have also now resumed uh, exports. Uh, we are looking at putting in some balancing equipment to further improve the production efficiency at not a very huge cost. Uh, it's also very encouraging that we have been able to successfully repay Exim Bank's first tranche of principal and interest, which actually is due today. Uh, so that is very, very heartening because I think in these last few years, I mean, one of the biggest issues that we've had is how are we going to meet our loan obligations? So the fact that we are now being at least becoming capable of doing that is itself a very positive uh, message. Uh, we are also looking uh, for debt restructuring and for bringing in a strategic partner uh, in order to release the corporate guarantee of, of, of KCIL. So these are ongoing, which has been there in the pipeline for many, you know, quite some time but we have not yet met with success. But now that things are improving in terms of production and productivity, markets, profitability, I think uh, the hope that we will be able to actually manage the restructuring uh, looks now, uh, the probability looks much, much greater. So that uh, covers uh, the three businesses. And I think many of the points which I've already mentioned will cover some of the questions uh, which the shareholders have raised. And I must say that uh, the questions are extremely insightful, the list that we have got. And I've tried to include some of the answers in my, my presentation, but we will go through the questions independently in, in any case. So now uh, the AGM notice contains six business items. And the resolutions for the items included in the notice have already been put to vote through the remote e-voting and are also being put for e-voting during the AGM. Therefore, no resolution is required to be proposed or seconded by the members at the AGM. The AGM notice is appended with the AGM agenda. Now, item number one is the notice for adoption of the audited financial statements including the consolidated financial statements of the company for the financial year ended 31st March 2022 and the reports of the board of directors and auditors thereon. The second resolution is for the declaration of dividend of rupees one, which is at 20% per equity share of the face value of rupees five of the company for the financial year ended 31st March 2022. 
the third item uh, is item where I am interested. So I shall request Shri Hemant Kumar Khetan, who is the director of the company, to please act as the chairman and take up item number three of the notice. Thank you and good morning to everybody. Item number three of the notice is regarding reappointment of Sri Soumya Bardhan Kanulia, DIN 02097441, as a director who retires by rotation and being eligible, offers himself for reappointment. I now invite the chairman to take up the further proceedings of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khatan. So item number four of the notice is related to the appointment of Mr. Singhi and Company, Chartered Accountants, as the statutory auditors of the company for a term of five years from the conclusion of this 62nd AGM till the conclusion of the 67th AGM. Item number five uh, is also a material related party transaction. And since I am interested in the resolution, I will request Sri Amitav Kothari, chairman of the audit committee and a director to act as the chairman to take up item number five of the notice. Good morning. Item number five of the notice is with regard to the approval of the material related party transactions between APAC Electronic AD Switzerland and APAC Electronics SRO Sales Republic step down subsidiaries of the company for INR 5, 1550 million equivalent to Swiss franc 67 million during the financial year 2022-23. To give you a background, the components manufactured by APAC Shell's Republic are majorly marketed by APAC Switzerland. The business model is in place for years, even prior to our acquisition. All the transactions are conducted at arm's length following the transfer pricing mechanism acceptable in both the geographies. As both the companies are wholly owned subsidiaries of APAC holding AG Suzerand, a subsidiary of the company, this does not have any financial impact on the consolidated financials of both APAC holding AG and Kanonia Chemicals. The explanatory statement item number five is given in on page 13 of the notice of the AG. I now invite the chairman to take up the further proceedings of the meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item number six of the notice is regarding ratification of remuneration of rupees 1,60,000 payable to Messrs. N.D. Bidla and Company cost auditors of the company for the financial year ended 31st March 2023. So that those are the six items. Now... <laughs> Members who are participating in the AGM through video conferencing and have not cast their votes, they may do so during the AGM through the e-voting system of NSDM. The facility uh, for e-voting is being provided by National Securities Depository Limited and members may log on to the e-voting website www.evoting.nsdl.com and vote thereat on the resolutions as per the details mentioned in the notice of this meeting. Members may note that voting through the NSDL e-voting mm -hmm. system will continue till 15 minutes from the conclusion of this AGM. The results of the e-voting at the AGM and the remote e-voting will be declared within two working days of the conclusion of the AGM as per the consolidated report of the scrutinizer and put on the websites of the company and NSTM and shall also be available at the registered and corporate offices of the company. The results shall also be immediately intimated to BSE Limited and National Stock Exchange of India Limited, where the shares of the company are listed. I would like to authorize Sri Hemant Kumar Khetan or in his absence, Sri Amitav Kothari, directors of the company, to declare the results in respect of the resolutions proposed at this 62nd annual general meeting of the company. So the members were given the facility to register in advance as speaker at the AGM through the designated email of the company between 26th August 2022, 9 a.m. and 27th August 2022, 5 p.m. 
uh, we have had uh, a very good response to this and we have 18 speakers who have registered to speak uh, as i have already said i've tried to respond to some parts of the questions which we have received in advance in my presentation and of, and as i said again i will be of course responding to the other questions and queries which are raised by all the speakers i will now request the company secretary to call the names of the members to express their views or ask the questions and considering that we have a large number of speakers i would please request everybody to be as as brief as possible and limit themselves to certainly not more than three minutes to express their views now since the questions have been sent in advance and there are some long uh, uh, questionnaires from a couple of shareholders uh, they need not repeat those questions those questions are already with me and i will answer them so that will save us uh, uh, also some time so please may i again once again request please be as brief as possible and restrict to not more than three minutes so now i can re require the moderator to unmute the other uh, company secretary please take over from here i request the moderator to unmute sri jadev bakshi a speaker shareholder sri jadev bakshi please start your video and speak Good morning, Chairman, MD, CFO, and Board of Directors. Myself, Jayadeep Bakshi, connecting from the city of Kolkata. Thanks to our company secretary, Mr. Setia, for giving me an opportunity and presenting a detailed annual report along with the others in the secretarial department for conducting this video conference in a smooth manner. Sir, in your in initial presentation, explains our company's position and glad to know about our healthy order book positions. And once again, thanks for the dividend of one rupee which you have passed on to us. So regarding the manufacturing uh, in units operation, in spite of these restrictions, what has been the capacity utilizations of, of these units? So the effect of the raw materials price increase, the inflation and the supply chain constraints on the daily business has been explained along with the shortage of semiconductors. So how do we foresee to come out of this position in future? And regarding the three verticals we have in the chemical, the electronics, and the textile, which has given us the highest revenue. Our CSR activities are always great in the education, the rural development, and healthcare as well. And so what is our waste management program? So any new technology implementation for better productivity and new product launch? So the energy conservation for saving fuel cost also a good initiative. So expansion of the Ankleshwar unit, what is the tar target program, what is the time frame? And so what is the con con congrats for the retaining of the responsible core logo for 2021-22 and maintaining a safety record and, uh, and, and, and remain an accident-free year in the all units. A great initiative in this respect. And so what are the threats and the, we see and the cheaper imports, how to counter them? And the solar power division has been a good initiative also in Jodhpur. And nothing to add more. I've supported all the resolutions and hope, sir, under your guidance and the management. You unmute, Karnal. Karnal, please unmute. Karnal, please unmute, Mr. Bakshi. Mr. Rajiv Bakshi. Yeah. Ah, hello, sir. Yeah. Under your guidance, I hope our company will come out with much better results. And with new blood, Mr. S. V. Kanoria in the board, I will hear with his new ideas, will add more value to our organization. Thank you, sir. And also to safe and if possible, kindly arrange for a planned visit, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now I request the moderator to please unmute Sri Santosh Kumar Sarab. बैंगलोर से आप सभी को नमस्कार करता हूँ आशा करता हूँ जितने भी डायरेक्टर अधिकारी और कर्मचारी है इस समय स्वस्थ और सुरक्षित होंगे सर एक में जी पार्थ शास्त्री जी को रविकांत जी रविनाथ जी को भी धन्यवाद प्रकट करता हूँ उनकी सभी समय देने के लिए सर पता नहीं क्यों आप रिटायर हो रहे हो रिटायर लाइफ में कभी होना नहीं चाहिए रिटायर तो दुनिया होती है सर 
हम और आप जितने भी हैं काम करने वाले कर्मठ और मैं आपको काफी दिन से जानता हूँ पार्षाती जी रवि जी को भी नहीं तो रिटायर होने नहीं थे मैं ये भगवान से कहूँगा मैं रिटायर आपका जो डिसीजन है उसके अगेंस्ट में तो मैं नहीं जा सकता लेकिन आपके आपके परिवार की दोनों के डायरेक्टर जो है उनके उनके परिवार की लंबी उम्र की कामना करता हूँ और भविष्य में आपके अच्छे स्वास्थ्य की कामना करता हूँ यही मैं करता हूँ सर और कभी किसी कंपनी में आएंगे जरूर मुलाकात होगी नमस्कार सर चौरासी करोड़ रह गए इनको कम करने के लिए आप कदम उठा रहे हैं ये अगर हो तो बताने कष्ट करिएगा सर Other expenses. तो लास्ट मेरे मेरे ध्यान से उनतीस उनसठ करोड़ थे इस साल चौरासी करोड़ के हुए तो उसको जब देखिएगा क्योंकि भाषा मिलियन में लिखेज हो सकता कैलकुलेशन और तो ध्यान दीजिएगा सर एक सर जो सोलर पावर का जो प्लांट है इससे अपने को कितनी अर्निंग हो रही है ये भी बताने का कष्ट करिएगा और इसकी अर्निंग की अपने प्रॉफिट और परसेंटेज कितनी अपने इनकम और परसेंटेज कितनी ये भी अगर फिगर तो जरूर बताइएगा सर सर ज्यादा क्या कहूँ ये कि आपके यहाँ फीमेल इम्प्लाई की संख्या बढ़ाने का मौका है सर सिर्फ आठ फीमेल इम्प्लाई यानी दो परसेंट है जबकि हमारी प्रेसिडेंट भी आज फीमेल है मैनेजमेंट भी फीमेल है और कानड़े जैसे मालूम अगर आप खेल कूद में ध्यान रखते होंगे तो अभी जो कॉमनवेल्थ का गेम खत्म हुआ उसमें वुमेन एथलीट ने ज्यादा मेडल मिले जेंट्स के अलावा तो मेरे मेरे कहने तात्पर्य है कि वुमेन को अगर मौका मिलेगा तो अपना हुनर दिखाएगी सर और आजकल तीनों सीट में वुमेन काम कर सकती है तब इसे विचार के लिए उनको अभी तो मोदी जी ने अलाउ किया वर्क फ्रॉम होम के लिए क्योंकि कई तकलीफ आए थी वुमेन को इम्पॉलमेंट देने के लिए उन्होंने कहा कि वुमेन जो है ग्रेस्ट और जिनके ब्रेंड है वो वर्क फ्रॉम होम भी के साथ विचार के लिए और सर एक डिस्प्यूट का छोटा सा डिस्प्यूट करके चार करोड़ का अपना पेंडिंग पड़ा हुआ इनकम टैक्स का उसको देखिए अगर सेटल कर लेते किसी डाउट ऑफ कोर्ट या कोई हो तो अपनी पूरी हंड्रेड परसेंट क्लीन बुक हो जाएगी फिर कोई जगह डिस्प्यूट नहीं रहेगा सर सर फ्यूचर प्लान तो आपने बताया और भी प्रश्न करेंगे लोग मैं ये जानना चाहूंगा कि रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग की आपने क्या व्यवस्था की और रिन्यूएल एनर्जी जो फैक्ट्रियों में है वहाँ यूज करने के लिए क्या व्यवस्था की सर सर एक सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक कई बार प्लास्टिक जो टेक्सचर में पैकेजिंग के काम आता है उसके अल्टरनेट में क्या व्यवस्था करेगी बताइए सर मैं ज्यादा समय नहीं लूंगा हमारे जितने भी अधिक डायरेक्टर हैं जितने भी अधिकारी हैं और जितने भी कर्मचारी आज वीडियो कम के टू प्रजेंट है मैं उनसे हाथ जोड़ के रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा अगर तीसरी डोज बूस्टर आप लोग नहीं है तो जरूर ले लीजिए मैं ये इसलिए कह रहा हूँ करीब डेढ़ महीने पहले मुझे कोविड हुआ था तीन डोज लेने के बाद घर की सामान्य दवाई लेके मैं ठीक हो गया तो आशा करता हूँ कभी उनका ऐसा कोई अफेक्ट होता है भगवान के लिए नहीं हो तो वो सामान्य दवाई से ही ठीक हो जाएंगे सर और सर जैसे कानून है आपने कहा कि वीडियो कॉम्पेटिंग बहुत खर्ची खर्चा कम होता है अच्छे भी और हर डायरेक्टर अपने अपनी जगह से ज्वाइन भी कर सकते हैं तो मैं आशा करता हूँ आपका जो इच्छा है अगले साल भी इसी तरह वीडियो कॉम्पेट मीटिंग करेंगे सर अगर यह है कि फिजिकल मीटिंग आप करते हैं तो मैं चाहूंगा उसके दस पंद्रह मिनट की हाईब्रिडिटी मीटिंग रखिए सर क्योंकि अब नोट नकदी नोट ले जाके डेकेटी करवाने का जमाना खत्म हो गया सर अब बैलोट ले आते पेमेंट करने के लिए तो हम तो भी अब फिजिकल से डिजिटल माना पड़ेगा तो उसके बारे में विचार करिएगा और ज्यादा समान न लेते हुए आप जितने भी डायरेक्टर हैं जितने भी अधिकारी हैं और जितने भी हमारे कर्मचारी आज फीजो कॉन्फ्रेंस है उनके उनके परिवार की और कंपनी की अच्छी बहुत सी कामना करता हूँ लास्ट में जाते एक बार जीत पाठते जी और रविनाथ जी को फिर नमस्कार करता हूँ सर आपकी सेवा देने के लिए हम आपके आभारी हैं जय हिंद जय भारत नमस्कार रिक्वेस्ट मॉडरेटर टू प्लीज अनम्यूट मिस्टर मनोज कुमार गुप्ता ए स्पीकर से रोड प्लीज मिस्टर गुप्ता प्लीज अनम्यूट योर वीडियो हेलो हेलो कैन यू हियर मी यस यस वी कैन हियर यू गुप्ता जी गुड मॉर्निंग रिस्पेक्टेड चेयरमैन नमस्कार नमस्कार board of directors fellow shareholders my name is manoj gupta i am equity shareholder of kanudia chemical and industries sir first of all i thanks to you your board and all staff for the best and excellent result for the year 21 22 in this deprived and global several global challenges 
And sir, I thanks to the company secretary and his team for the excellent work and to help us to join this meeting through VC. And thanks for your dividend. And future outlook, you have already covered mostly question, 80% question in your opening remarks about the future outlook and uh, what's your future ambition of the company. Ethiopia business about the textile in Africa, you have said denim business. So I wish to God that you success in Africa, African countries and make it profitable and take the textile business on new heights under your leadership and plan for brownfield project of Uncle Ishwar to expand the capacity of Uncle Ishwar that you have covered. And sir, I also agree with Mr. Santosh Saraf about Mr. G. Partha Sarthi Saab and Mr. Ravi Nath that they have given a lot of time to our company and they are, we can't forget their contribution about the companies to help you to take the to take the company on new heights. And I wish to God for their healthy and prosperous, safe, long life. And maybe today they are retiring, but Santosh Saraf just said that people should not think that he has retired. He should be busy his life in other work. And we can't forget Mr. Partha Sarthi's contribution for the nation and the corporate sector. Thank, thank you, sir. And sir, electric auto components, I've attended several AGMs. Day before yesterday, I've attended Bharat Electronics AGM, a government of India enterprises. The chairperson of that meeting also con uh, concerned, uh, worry about the shortage of semiconductor. So in this regard, what's your view about the shortage of semiconductor? How you fulfill the shortage of semiconductor for the and solar power our beloved prime minister is false focusing on the solar power business uh, units in the country and sir i believe that business will fruitful and business will give you more return in coming time it's a big investment but result is good in the solar power and i wish to god to take the company on new heights under your leadership and I also, somehow I also agree with Mr. Santos Saraf and you with, for the VC, that VC pan India shareholders can take part in the company. And thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So I would like to stand corrected. I said that Mr. Partha Sati and uh, Mr. Ravi Nath will retire on, at the end of the conclusion of this meeting, they will retire on 3rd of September, day after tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, please sit here. Uh, you carry on. I request the moderator to please unmute Mr. Sanjeev Dhiraj Bhai Saab. Mr. Saab, please start your video and stick. Sir, he is not present in the meeting. Okay, then we can take next Mr. Sri Vaibhav Barjatya, please. Uh, yeah, uh, hi, sir. I hope uh, you can hear me. Yes, yes, we can hear you, and we have received all your questions, Mr. Vajas. Yes, yes, yes. So, I don't have anything else to say, I just request the management to answer them point by point. We have an answer each don't worry. Uh, yeah, and, and, and sorry for submitting long list of questions. Uh, this is, I will try to cover most of them. I mean, obviously, which may or may not be possible for me to cover, but I would uh, Sure, that's it from my side. Thank you very much. Mr. Moderator, please unmute Sri Dhawal set. Dhawal set, please. Hello. Please, Mr. Dhawal set, please unmute yourself. Please unmute Mr. Double. Hello. Ah, yes, I can hear you now. Uh, so, uh, congratulations for nice set of numbers and uh, congratulations for your presentation. We don't have right now any question and uh, all the best wishes for the company future endeavor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Moderator, please unmute Mr. Asit Kumar Patak, next speaker shareholder. Mr. Parker. Hello. Hello. Yes, Am Mr. I audible, sir? Yes, you are audible, Mr. Parker. Uh, uh, very good morning, sir. And praying to God for your good health also. Thank you. Uh, 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 respected chairman, uh, board of the directors, company secretary, fellow members joining 62nd AGM of Anoria Chemical and Industries Limited. 
my name is Ashit Kumar Pathak from Damdam, Kolkata. My esteemed gratitude, our company secretary, Mr. N.K. Shetia, for sending me all the uh, relevant documents very well in advance and allow me to speak. Sir, the excellent representations from Future Outlook and present uh, uh, roadmap, uh, I have also noted the, all the valid points and uh, uh, covered maximum views. Sir, uh, please unmute yourself, Mr. Park. Ah, yes, I'm audible, sir. Yes, you are audible. Uh, uh, sir, you also mentioned uh, the uh, medical device uh, uh, business. So, uh, if you in, in view any CapEx program uh, for this, if possible, throw some highlights. Also, excellent standalone financial performance and debt reduction policy. Excellent, sir. Not, uh, money, I don't uh, money, repeat this. My previous speakers also mentioned this. Sir, in respect to APAG, auto component, Sir, uh, you also mentioned that increased material cost and allocation of fixed overhead over less than expected revenue. Sir, uh, uh, if throw some highlights, the expected order book status as on financial year 23. And also you mentioned that financial year 23 promising as the order booking is very healthy, mostly in CHF 90. So if possible, ये क्या है इनकी आवाज ब्रेक हो रही है फिर से सर आई थिंक देयर इज सम इशू विद दिस नेटवर्क कैन वी मूव नेक्स्ट टू द शेयर होल्डर हेलो हेलो या वी कैन हियर हिम नाउ हां यस प्लीज कैरी ऑन इन रिस्पेक्ट टू कैट यू आल्सो मेंशन द पॉलिटिकल क्राइसिस एंड सिविल अनरेस्ट एंड हाई कॉस्ट कॉटन in continual real devaluation of the european chaliye we let's move i mean we've got his points fir aap mansa kar denge next mein chale jayenge please admit mr sujan modak our next speaker sir mr modak please start your video and speak yeah, you can hear me yes sir yes. yeah namaskar sir namaskar kanwariya ji namaskar Sir, uh, good morning to everyone, all the directors and my online fellow shareholders. Sir, how are you, Sir Kanwariya Ji? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sir. It's been a long time, Sir. We have not met each other. Anyway, Sir, our performance of our company is performance that's fantastic. Very good, Sir. It's an excellent one. It's a very good one, Sir. एनुअल रिपोर्ट मैं आई हैव गॉन थ्रू एंड आपका जो स्पीच है अभी इनिशियली सर इट हैज कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन सो नो नीड टू रिपीट इट फैंटेस्टिक वॉट इट से इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ ए पर्सन सर द वे यू हैव कवर्ड दिस इज वेरी गुड एंड वेरी नाइस सर आई हैव वन थिंग टू नो इज दट द डेप्ट वी गॉट वॉट आई हैव सीन इज नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी नाइन मिलियंस Uh, total borrowing sir how um, uh, since our uh, interest rates are going up so how it's going to affect how much it is going to affect our profit margin if you can please sir, tell us and uh, one more thing sir uh, about the safety of our co company so many factories uh, running and all so last one year whether there was any near miss or any accidents any fatality so please if you can please tell us uh if, was there any man hour we lost due to that and uh, if any at all any accident happens whether they are back to normal life or not please please sir tell us and uh, before i finish i'd like to definitely uh, thank our company secretary mr setia and his whole team setia ji aap bahut acche hum logo ka sath sir uh, connection rakhte hai सर इन्वेस्टर सर्विसेज तो सर सच में आपसे सीखना चाहिए जैसे जैसे आप लोगों का सब टीम फोन करते रहते हैं हम लोगों को बताया इसीलिए थैंक यू वेरी मच प्लीज ऐसे ऐसे करके हमारे साथ बने रहिए प्लीज ये हमारा एक अनुरोध है आपसे और कुछ सर ऐड करने का नहीं है टाइम बहुत कम है लेकिन हम क्वेश्चन का सब आंसर मिल गया तो आई वॉन्ट टू आई थैंक यू अगेन एंड प्लीज कंटिन्यू विथ प्रोसीडिंग थैंक यू सर अभिजीत पंडा और मिस्टर 
Mr. Sarkar, please speak. Bimal Krishna Sarkar. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, Mr. Hello. Yes, yes, we can Hello. hear you. Sarkar, we can hear you. Huh. Very good morning, sir. Morning. Sir, very good morning. My Bimal Krishna Sarkar, my residence say, Kolkata Se Bolrong. Sir Mananya Dakshi, our Nana Padarik Window, Company Secretary and Keshatiaji, our Postit Pashar Hotels. Sir Palame. Chairman Chak Kanada Jayako, I will give you a great and excellent and valuable presentation of the company's performance and future. That's why I appreciate them. Sir, look, this is the COVID-19 lockdown, etc. This is the lockdown, etc. And after that, the war has been the war of the geopolitical tension. This is the situation of the geopolitical tension. This is the situation of our company in the adverse position. इस बार जो रिजल्ट किया है ये सिग्निफिकेंट रिजल्ट किया है इसलिए मैं कानूरा जी आपका पूरा टीम को मैं दोबारा धन्यवाद देता हूं सर देखिए मेरा पहले मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लगता है ऑलरेडी रेस्ट बाय द प्रीवियस स्पीकर तो मैं ज्यादा टाइम ले लूंगा सर ये जो सोलर प्लांट जो 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 आप लोग किया है ये जोधपुर में ये बहुत लगता है मेरे ख्याल से ये कंपनी इसमें बहुत प्रॉफिट वाली होगा सर इसलिए आप लोगों ये धन्यवाद सर सर इनकम टैक्स में जो पेंडिंग केस पड़ा हुआ है सर इसको जितना जल्दी हो इसको छलटने का चेष्टा कीजिए कोशिश कीजिएगा सर वो सीएसआर एक्टिविटीज जो हमारा ऑब्लिगेशन था 5.21 मिलियन ये पूरा ही खर्चा किया है सीएसआर कमिटी को हम धन्यवाद देता हूं सर जो आज इस परिस्थिति में जो हम लोगों को डिविडेंड मिला है बहुत अच्छा है ये 20 परसेंट डिविडेंड मिला है पर शेयर सर धन्यवाद देता हूँ सर जितना रेजुलेशन है मैं फिर बार में ऑलरेडी वोट कर दिया है सर एक बात दुख की बात है कानूरा जी आप रिटायर कर रहे हैं आप मेरा पहले भी जो हमारा जो स्पीकर है उन्होंने भी बोले थे सर आप रिटायर कर रहे हैं ये हम से ये प्रार्थना करता हूँ और सर आपका आप और आपका पूरा टीम डायरेक्टर साहब और कंपनी सेक्रेटरी और जितना इम्प्लॉय है कंपनी का सब सुस्त रहेगा ये भगवान से प्रार्थना करता हूँ और मेरे को ये बोलने का मौका दिया है इसलिए धन्यवाद देता हूँ थैंक यू वेरी मच कानवरा जी अब अब सुस्त रहेगा और लंबी उम्र हो आपको थैंक यू सर Our next speaker, Mr. Sunil, Sunil Kumar Madhav. Mr. Madhav, please unmute and start your video. Yes, respected chairman, board of directors, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear. Achha. Good morning, sir. Good morning to everybody, respected chairman, board of directors, company secretary, and my fellow shareholders online. Myself, Sunil Madhav, calling from my residence at Calcutta. Sir, first of all, I thank the chairman, board of directors, and the all employees of the company for the brilliant result, good performance. And I am pleased to uh, present at the 62nd AGM of our company and express my gratitude to the company to allow me to speak at the AGM. I have supported all the resolutions in favor and cast my vote earlier. I thank to the secretarial department, Ms. Neha, to send my AGM notice and all record, etc. well in advance. Initial statement by our chairman gives all the note points I have got, our object, our aim, and what is, what is our coming performance, he also indicated there. The financial year was a challenging one for Indian and global economy. 
COVID restricts, etc., had a significant impact on our economy. Though we had in Canuria Chemical and Industries made a significantly improved performance revenue from operation increased by 67%. EVITA also doubled, generated a net profit of 250 million as against loss of the uh, previous year and declared dividend 20%. All for this, I congratulated the management. Sir, what is our, uh, uh, you have already given your object for the next, uh, your roadmap for the coming years also. So the five to 10 years uh, financial statement Financial statements, if you uh, narrate it in the annual report, it will be very fine. Uh, sir, you may uh, uh, continue this VC meeting if, if uh, physical meeting uh, occurred in the coming year. And also, I request you to, if situation permit, uh, please uh, arrange a factory visit. We hope our, we hope your able guidance and control, we will give our company will give best performance and will be with better results and better dividend will meet next year. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. They yeah. all the uh, everybody should keep safe and steady, well, healthy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker is Mr. Gautam Nandi. Please unmute Mr. Gautam Nandi. Am I yes. audible, sir? Yes, you are audible. Sir, am I audible? Yes, you are audible, Mr. Ma. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, good morning and Namaskar. Respected chairperson, board of director, and my online fellow shareholders. Myself, Gautam Nandi of Kakurgachi, Kolkata. Very old equity shareholder of Kanuya Chemicals Limited. Sir, firstly, I'd like to give thanks to your secretarial department for sending me annual report and and other necessary relevant papers through email well in advance. And also thanks for connecting me in this VC platform in a very smooth manner. So especially thanks to our respected company secretary, Mr. N.K. Setia and his whole team for rendering good services to our minority shareholders. Sir, you are organizing your annual general meeting through video conference for the third time, which is a grand success like the previous years. Sir, your annual report is very attractive and also very informative, which is, which is self-explanatory. Sir, in this context, I like to suggest, please issue hard copy of annual report, at least to the speaker shareholders. And please also mention the speaker's serial number with your link. This is very important for us, sir. Please maintain it. Sir, we are passing through a very tough and pandemic situation. COVID-19, Russia, Ukraine, war, etc., etc. Every company is suffering very much. But I find in this challenging year, our company's performance is good, very good. You are also giving good dividend to our minority shareholders. Sir, एक बात मैं कहना चाहता हूँ, dividend में कोई छोटा बड़ा नहीं होता है, dividend dividend ही होता है, हर dividend हम लोगों के लिए एक reward होता है. So thanks for your dividend in this tough market situation, sir. Sir, I like to ask, what is your roadmap for the next three to four years? Sir, your CSR activities are very good, so please keep it up. Sir, have you given booster dose to each and every employee of your company? If not, please uh, arrange immediately because they are the pillars of our company. And the uh, situation is going to be This is my essential thing. Sir, uh, what about our bonus shares? We shall be very happy if you issue bonus shares uh, to our minority shareholders. Sir, you have share ka um, uh, phase value hai, rupees 5 per share. Is there any plan for uh, speed up your share from rupees 5 uh, to rupees 2 or 1, something like that? Please tell us. Sir, we are very happy to be a shareholder of your company. And I am very hopeful towards the prospect of our company, sir. I have full trust with our strong management, sir. 
So I wholeheartedly support your all resolutions, not only me, along with my family. I have, sub I have already uh, casted uh, through my e-voting in favor of you, obviously. Sir, I am very happy with your company. Sir, nothing to say more today. Looking forward with a positive outlook towards our company with, with higher profit margin, handsome dividend, one is to one bonus and a return. Sir, may God bless you, sir. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you very much, sir. Myself, Bhagavad Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Sri Vishal Patel. Please unmute Sri Vishal Patel. He is not present in the meeting, so. Okay, then our next shareholder speaker is Mr. Anil Raika. Mr. Anil Raika, please. Hello, thank you to the company secretary, to the chairman, to let me the opportunity to speak. I have sent my questions to the chairman, sir. So please. Yeah, I have your question, Mr. Raika. I will answer them. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank I really appreciate uh, your very nice questions you are saying. Our next speaker is Mr. Om Prakash Kejriwal. Mr. Kejriwal, please unmute. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Kejriwal. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, you are audible. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Sarji. And good morning to everybody attending the EGM. Myself, Om Prakash Kejriwal, your equity shareholder from Kolkata. Thank you, sir, for, for providing me the platform to speak in the virtual AGM. Thanks to Sekia ji and his team for helping me in registration as a speaker shareholder. Sir ji, I am a very old shareholder of your company. In past, I attended all the AGMs as a non-speaker shareholder. It is my first AGM as a speaker shareholder. Because you didn't tell me, sir. Your year 2022, which is total revenue, total income achieved, record annual uh, total income achieved, rupees 660 crore, 660 crore on a standalone basis. Record total income hai ye. और इसी तरीके से नेट इनकम स्टैंडर्ड बेसिस पे 25 करोड़ रुपए हम अर्जित किए हैं आफ्टर सो मेनी इयर्स बहुत-बहुत बधाई आपको और फर्स्ट क्वार्टर करंट ईयर का फर्स्ट क्वार्टर में भी आपने नेट प्रॉफिट 10 करोड़ रुपए अर्जित किया है मतलब सोने पे सुहागा और ऊपर से 1 रुपया डिविडेंड भी आपने दिया आफ्टर आफ्टर अ गैप ऑफ 2 इयर्स ये तो बहुत ही अच्छा है बहुत-बहुत बधाई आप लोग को इतना अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस के लिए आपको तथा आपके सभी एम्प्लॉय बंधुओं को बहुत-बहुत बधाई कोरोना पीरियड होने के बावजूद आप लोगों ने एक्सेलेंट रिजल्ट दिया है रियली आवर एम्प्लॉइज आर सो डेडिकेटेड टू देयर वर्क आई सैल्यूट देम फॉर देयर एक्सेलेंट परफॉर्मेंस अच्छे दिन आ गए सर जी हम लोग की कंपनी के Employee dedication to मुझे तब देखने को मिला सर जी जब मुझे रेनुकुट फैक्ट्री विजिट करने का मौका मिला हावड़ा में ट्रेन में चढ़ने के साथ ही जमर जी और उनकी टीम ने जो आदर सत्कार देना शुरू किया और हावड़ा रिटर्न तक वो चलता रहा सर जी मतलब हम लोग को जवाई बना के ले गए वो लोग हम लोग को बराती बना कर ले गए मेनी मेनी थैंक्स फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट नेक्स्ट फैक्ट्री का विजिट करवा रहे हैं वो थोड़ा सा बताइएगा अभी काफी प्लांट जो है यूरोप में और चाइना में केमिकल प्लांट बंद हो गया ड्यू टू हाई इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चार्जेस तो उसका बेनिफिट हम लोग उठा रहे हैं क्या आपने टेक्सटाइल यूनिट के लिए बताया ये थोपिया में जो अपना टेक्सटाइल प्लांट है तो उसमें परफॉर्मेंस तो ठीक नहीं चल रहा है तो ये कॉटन जो है हम लोग क्या वहां लोकल ले रहे हैं क्या कॉटन के हम लोग वहां पे इंपोर्ट कर कर रहे हैं और जो फिनिश गुड्स है वो भी क्या हम लोग लोकल सेल कर पा रहे हैं क्या कि बाहर सेल कर पा रहे हैं बाहर सेल करना पड़ता है एक्सपोर्ट करना पड़ रहा है क्योंकि अभी डेनी मार्केट तो इंडिया में तो काफी सुधरा है तो आप आपका वहां पे क्या कैसा परफॉर्मेंस है वो बताइए और कुछ अगर और भी केमिकल प्लांट अगर ऐड करना चाहते तो पहले भी सर मैंने कहा था ओरिएंटल कार्बन जो कुछ कार आइटम बनाते हैं और एक मनाली पेट्रो है जो कि उनका कुछ आइटम है जो कि इंपोर्ट सब्सिट्यूट है अभी भी 
इंडिया में जो है काफी शॉर्टेज है तो उस पर आप ध्यान दे सकते हैं और ये करंट जो बैलेंस तीन क्वार्टर है जो अभी फर्स्ट क्वार्टर का आपने काफी अच्छा रिजल्ट दिया है तो बैलेंस जो तीन क्वार्टर है उसका भी रिजल्ट आपका कैसा रहेगा इसी टाइप का रहेगा क्या वो थोड़ा सा बताइएगा अंत में सर जी थैंक यू वेरी मच प्लीज मेंटेन योर स्माइल एंड रिमेन चेयरफुल we will remain with you always as a long time investor thank you sir thank you our next speaker sir old is mr rajesh setia mr setia please unmute and start your video yeah hello are you able to hear me yes yes mr setia uh, you yeah. and your hello everyone thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak Uh, sir, I have already made my list of questions, yes, so I yes. request you to answer them. I will answer them. Will. Thank you very much. Our, our next speaker is Sri Parveen Kumar. Mr. Parveen Kumar, please speak. Hello, I am audible, sir. Yes, you are audible. A very, very good afternoon to my respected chairman. Well, that we have the team of director and my co-founder Shilpa who joined this meeting. For myself, Pravin Kumar, joining this meeting from New Delhi, I have few observations which I must share. Yes, sir. First of all, first of all, dear Sari, good morning. Good morning, poor management to our warrior worker, to Ganesh Chaturthi, sir. And thank you very much, uh, respected chairman, sir, for your detailed. A speech, a uh, in-depth speech. You cover almost everything, like you said before in your speech. Also, in 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 three words, and we are having an exchange so beautiful, sir. I am part of this journey for more than a decade, sir. And over for more than a decade, yes. In the past, also we have uh, 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 a bit of challenges, also. But I love to respect you as a chairperson of a company. the great leadership you have dedication foresight and vision you have and you are leading with a professional team to take our company to the moon so my only question which i love to say on this master is that was the compliment compliment and compliment that i pray to the god that he will bless you uh, you are uh, 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 like my earlier speaker said keep your smile you are for gentlemen uh, wish you a long run and i am here for the long run with the companies it, we, it is very very interesting journey and see the fantabulous result uh, uh, our company reflect and despite the fact despite the fact today is the date uh, we successfully paid our loan and today is the date that you announce dividend loss. so that really shows the invest investor friendly approach of our company sir for a retail investor the barometer is a company is also very very decided which is the key parameter of the company is decided by the corporate governance in this regard under your able direction the highest corporate governance i will come see there are few companies in the media which really adhere to that so i love to thank you respected ctia sir and his entire team for communicating even during covid time also sir if i have anything on a company they will promptly reply that really show this is the company who who, who spread a red carpet welcome to the minority shareholder to the i am very very pleased to be part of such a legacy and once again thank you very much for providing me this platform to share my view and express for more than a decade sir and last but not the least i really pray to the god that he will bless the the entire team the entire worker so that you will achieve golden height greater height in the team thank you thank you very much thank you very much our last speaker sir holder mr subhas kar mr kar please unmute and start your video mr kar please am i audible yes yes mr kar yes. very good morning sir hey afternoon sorry Yes, no expected chairman board of director and my online fellow shareholders myself subhash kaur joining from kolkata my special thanks to the expected company secretary 
for the sending annual report well in advance and allow to the speak at this platform. Our company's annual report is very colorful, transparent and informative. Company has been maintaining a healthy dividend payout. CSR activities are very good. Our company is very good promoter holding 74.43%, but 29.56% pledged. Give your valuable comments. Sir, my previous speaker already asked them my question, so no needs to repeat it. It has, as per your guide, guidelines, just to support you and hope our company will do better in coming year. I have already casted my vote in favor of the all regulation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khan. Any more? No, no more speaker, sir. Oh. Thank you very much share, to all the shareholders who have spoken at the meeting. I am overwhelmed with the, with the positive comments that you have made. But I must be very honest with you. Uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, an extremely good uh, and very committed employee base. Uh, I am also ably assisted in the auto component division by my younger son, Anand, and in the chemical business by my old Somya. They are now the next generation for the company and they will take it forward. Many of the ideas, the detailing, the uh, improvements, they are all driven by these two young men. So I think, uh, the future of the company is in very good hand. Uh, I, I also think that, I mean, though the results look very good, I don't think that they are as good as we would like them to be because there is still a lot of scope uh, in all the three businesses. Uh, we have been unfortunately hit by more external factor than internal factors because internally our plants are efficient, very well run. Uh, we have a very good uh, uh, relationship with our customers. So from that point of view, I can only assure you that we will continue to try and do our very best to meet the expectations of all the shareholders and to actually exceed our own expectations for the company. Now, coming to the questions, I think, let me, if I answer some of these detailed questions, they would also cover the questions which have been raised by the other speakers who have spoken today. Uh, first, I will like to address the questions of Mr. Weber yeah. Bajatia, because he has sent some very detailed questions, which, uh, which covers actually uh, the entire gamut of all the three businesses. So the first question he says is, can you provide installed capacity of formaldehyde across the three plants? So our three plants, the capacity of formaldehyde is 3,78,000 tons per annum. And the different plants are operating at different capacity. We have the highest capacity utilization is in, in Ankleshwar. And since the Naidu Peta plant is new, the capacity utilization was low last year. But I mean, this year it looks exceedingly good. Vishaka Patnam also is picking up, but uh, that has some different challenges because we, the expected growth of industries around Vishaka Patnam has been uh, slow. But the capacity utilization ranges from 45 to 78%. Then we talked about the expansion of the formaldehyde capacity, which I actually covered in my presentation that we are going to double the capacity and Aglishwar and are also looking at new geographies. Um, looking at the in the uh, plywood and uh, uh, mdf medium density fiber board industries which are happening also in the eastern also in the uh, northern part of the country 
then the current capacity of phenolic resins so resins business uh, has been driven very much by a uh, old time director samya my our son he is um, been running i mean he is running the entire chemical business but i think uh, a lot of the credit of developing and the whole r and d etc around uh, the resins business goes to his uh, ideas and i would like him to cover that part of the questions once i am finished with the other questions so these three questions which are the current capacity of phenolic what is the new capacity and the r and d he would be covering uh, the chemical division you want to know about the revenue breakup so revenue breakup is about 54% of formaldehyde 20% penta and uh, hexamine and resins are about 12% each as far as profitability is concerned it varies because we have been hit by a lot of volatility uh, ideally the resin business should be the most profitable but the prices of phenol which is a raw material have been fluctuating wildly in the market and in the world and in fact the prices went up to an unprecedented high they are now kind of stabilizing so i think the most promising businesses probably would be the most value added businesses but it is very difficult to say so i don't want to make any specific comment on how this profitability is distributed then the next question is with regard to uh, how much what percentage of the domestic market is met by imports and why imports are competitive in this so actually uh, as far as penta is pentaacetol is concerned more than 50% uh, is met by imports and i mean india honestly speaking in terms of energy costs in terms of transport costs etc is actually much higher than many parts of the world so i we can only make up through better raw material consumption more efficiency and the continuous focus on reduction on energy costs uh, so and and apart from that the capacity for production of pentaacetol in the country is also limited it is limited to asian paints and to ourselves and now uh, the world's largest manufacturer postrop is also putting up a a new plant so that is going to raise some new challenges but uh, as i said we are running very efficiently so we do not see any problem in maintaining our uh, market position there as far as competitiveness of formaldehyde is concerned i can categorically say that our technology is far superior than most of the technology most of the plants in india uh, because uh, our raw material consumption is by far the lowest uh, in the country not only in the country i think globally we are extremely competitive as far as formaldehyde is concerned and that's really been our uh, major uh, you know usp or advantage in terms of being able to capture the formaldehyde market i think a very interesting question has been raised that since the energy prices in europe are high does that open up opportunities for the export of formaldehyde to be honest formaldehyde in its present form as liquid formaldehyde no because formaldehyde is sold as 37% liquid uh, solution which means that 63% of it is water and to transport it is extremely expensive so there is opportunity for formaldehyde but only formaldehyde is converted into its solid form which is called para formaldehyde so as i had covered in my presentation we are actually actively looking at the possibility of also um investing in a para formaldehyde plant and we are scouting around for the right technology uh, for that so so that's definitely the opportunities are there but not in its present liquid form uh, the next question was that can you explain in detail the substantial margin improvement i think basically uh, uh, you know if raw material prices increase it actually helps us because our technology is superior to the rest of the manufacturers wherein we consume a lower percentage of raw material so if, 
So that has been one of the major advantages that uh, we've had. Also, in terms of inventory gains, because the plants were shut and they had to be, you know, these COVID times, there was a very different kind of situation. We were grappling with day-to-day -day issues. And uh, after COVID, we, you know, it's one is that the pricing improved. Secondly, the pent-up demand also was released. And uh, then the user industries also started doing uh, much better and well. So, so that's primarily the, the reasons for uh, this. So I think Mr. Bajatia just about covers uh, everything. Now, Samne, would you like to cover the phenolic part of this? Or add to anything which I have said, because uh, since on a day-to-day -day basis, you are more involved with this than I am. No, no, I don't, I don't want to add anything. I just want to talk about the phenolic resin business. So currently, our capacity in Vizag is about 7,000 tons per year. It depends on the product mix, so it's hard to say whether it's 7,000 or 6,000, but it's around 7,000. And in Ankleshwar, we'll be putting up a plant of about the same capacity, which will get commissioned in October or November of this year. And... Uh, Regarding R&D spend on resins, we don't, uh, we, our team of scientists is not only focusing on R&D. They focus on R&D, which means developing new products. And they also focus on technical services, which means understanding how the customers are using the resin in their application and then trying to improve or provide better properties to them or to reduce the cost of the resin by maintaining the same properties. So, it's not, we can't say how much was spent on R&D, but we have a team right now of six people, which we plan to make eight or nine people who will be focusing both on R&D and on technical services. Thanks. That's really great. Then um, now coming to the question with relating to the auto business. Uh, the question says that we supply electronic modules to Hela, which in turn are used we supply to Audi and BMW, etc. And you would like to know who are other similar companies who supply modules. Oh, there are many companies. I mean, just for example, uh, Panasonic, I mean, uh, they also supply and there are many other companies. I mean, we are, uh, there are some large manufacturers, there are smaller manufacturers, but essentially Hela, uh, Hoof and Vite, they are uh, they are the OEM suppliers to the auto industry. And we are, I would say, quasi o OEM because we work directly with the auto companies because our company is not only engaged in production, it is primarily engaged in developing the components together with the auto companies. And then we are nominated by the auto companies as the production partner for Hela or Hoof or for uh, Vite and companies like that. Now, why is it that we don't supply it to the uh, directly to OEMs is also part of the questions which Mr. Bajati has raised. That's a very interesting question because we make the electronic part of it and then the electronics has to be housed in a casing which is normally a plastic casing. So, suppose we are making an electronic light. Now, in the car itself, you don't see the electronics part of it. You only see the light which is covered with a glass or plastic or or some such uh, material. So ultimately all our components, they are too delicate to be used as it is. They need to be housed into a casing. And most of these companies are uh, engaged in injection molding or in plastic production. And then they are assembling these components and selling them as finished parts to the OEMs. So, so that I think is uh, for us to be a direct OEM supplier, very few electronic companies in the world are totally integrated to be supplying uh, the entire uh, component. Then what, what the next question is, what is the key value? I think the biggest value we are offering is our expertise, particularly in the lighting field. Uh, I would also like to add here that in terms of strategy, the company is very well placed because one of the questions related later on is talking about the electro electric vehicles. 
so we are agnostic we are really it doesn't matter to us whether it is a internal combustion engine or whether it is an electric vehicle or whether it is a hydrogen powered vehicle our our products are largely unaffected by the type of technology used in production of the cars because they are related to mostly to lighting and to what we call comfort electronics so so those are Uh, so strategically the company is very well placed now as far as the entry barrier is concerned i think one of the biggest entry barriers in terms of production is to maintain the kind of quality standard which are required i mean just to give you an example we are in our uh, czech republic plant our uh, defect rate is 3 per million 3 per million is zero defect actually so it's it's actually the one is the ability to do that secondly is an accumulated knowledge of the technology behind it so in every electronic component there is not just the assembly of the hardware but also of software and that is where uh, it is not easy for just anybody to to enter uh, the field i mean even in canada we are facing we have faced um, a, you know it's taken us a long time to develop clients it takes almost 3 years or 2 and 2 to 3 years for really breaking into the uh, into the market and that's a very costly process which we have already experienced in our canadian operations so as far as the uh, timeline for the auto business to start generating profits the auto business is already generating profits at the pvt level during this year as far as the european operations are concerned uh canada still has to uh, break even uh, the european operations in fact are doing i would say reasonably well now uh, then the next question we have raised is about the textile business you, ethiopia has lost duty free access to the united states that is very true and yes it will have an impact uh, definitely because ethiopia was becoming a global hub for conversion into garments and ethiopia actually took some incredibly good steps to develop the garment industry and the apparel industry uh, by creating uh, garment parks and infrastructure facilities etc now since uh, since duty free access has been actually temporarily suspended uh, in light of what the us says human right violations in uh, ethiopia this is definitely going to have some amount of impact but fortunately the ethiopian market itself because of the kind of improved prosperity in ethiopia the market itself is very good we are selling uh, as you know some questions have been raised about whether we are selling locally or whether we are selling uh, uh, in the export market well we are more and more selling uh, locally and that is an that is a profitable business for us then as far as the guarantee is concerned i also already talked about in my presentation that we are looking at the possibility of debt restructuring and freeing up the guarantee for which um, we are actually actively pursuing it and uh, as i said with improved operations the probability and likelihood of success is much greater than it was earlier so i think this covers the questions which mr bajati are raised and i'll come to the questions which mr anil raika has raised because these are two detailed questionnaires uh is asked about what is the capex incurred by the company in the last couple of years for formaldehyde uh, i think the only capex which we had is this new plant in naidu peta which is 52 crores the how much does the uh, how much in of uh, formaldehyde is imported not much i mean the the uh, formaldehyde really is not imported except in as i said in the solid form as para formaldehyde so formaldehyde itself is not imported uh, i have already talked about the capacity utilization etc so i am not going to to repeat that the phenolic resins uh, the company is planning to set up phenolic resins i think we have already talked about that the capex required for that as i mentioned in my presentation is 50 crores um the capacity of our products um, after the debottling making an expansion uh, penta will be 10000 tons per annum sodium formate will be 6500 tons formaldehyde currently it is 378000 
uh, hexamine 13,600, acetaldehyde 6,000, uh, PF resin post expansion will be 14,500. Then uh, said that we have set several initiatives. I, you know, I mentioned in my presentation, it's very difficult for me to quantify each one of them because this is an ongoing process. They're primarily to do with input norms and energy savings. That is what I have uh, also mentioned earlier. Uh, so this is, then we say about new product development. Uh, we are, of, as I also mentioned in my presentation, there are two products, triacetin and DNPT, which we are actively working on. Uh, and they are import substitution products where there is no other, uh, sorry, there, in one case, there is another producer, in another case, there is no other producer. Uh, then uh, the CapEx, we are spending and expanding the alcochemical capacity. So this resin is likely to add about 70 crores to our turnover. Then the order book position of our Canadian business, I've already mentioned in my presentation that our total order book is about 300 million out of which about 100 million is to in. So 100 million Swiss franc is the equivalent of around uh, uh, 800 crores uh, today. So we are, as I said, I mean, we have an extremely healthy uh, position there. So the denim business is facing several headwinds. I've already talked enough about that. I think that uncertainty will continue to exist. We can continue only to focus on how we improve our productivity and marketing, which we are doing and the results are showing. Um, as far as the economic and political situation of the country is concerned, that remains dynamic. It changes from time to time. We just keep our fingers crossed that it does not become something which becomes unmanageable. So when the third set of questions we have received is from Mr. Rajat Setia. Uh, I think some of those questions I've answered. So end user industry wise breakup, I mean, this is almost impossible because there are too many end users and it is very difficult to do that. I mean, and some of the businesses have <laughs> many multiple applications like uh, hexamine and resins, they have multiple applications. So it's very difficult for us to give you a revenue wise breakup of the end user industries. Uh, the products manufactured in the three plants I've already talked about, existing capacity I've already talked about. I think I've answered all those questions related to that. Uh, annual report, we mentioned capacity setup from reputed manufacturers in Naidu Peta. Yeah, so Naidu Peta is attracted. Samya, would you want to say who all are putting up the plants there? Who are, are going to be our customers? Green panel is already there. They already are customers. And the other largest manufacturers will also be setting up. I don't know what the status of their of the public announcement of their project is yet. So I can't say the names maybe. And then there is also, we have mentioned about collaborative agreement with Bakelite Synthetics and ASK Chemicals. Uh -huh. So, yes. So that one also is, we have our own resin business. That is what we focus on. That's our primary focus. But we have additional capacity. We have the ability to put up additional capacity quickly. So we also do this as a secondary thing. But this is not our focus for the resin business. So the overall revenue percentage coming from these two collaborations is very small. It's just that they, they wanted certain grades of resins to be manufactured in India and they found no other manufacturer with a plant which they thought was of high enough standard, high enough quality. That's why we are doing it for them. Then uh, the next um, is regarding the risk of cheaper imports of pentapetrol sodium formate and I mean, I think this risk has been there for years and years. We managed this for the last... 30 years, we continue to manage in the same way. We just need to be more and more efficient. Um, from time to time, there have been anti-dumping duties on some of these products from some of the countries. But right now, there is no anti-dumping duty on, on any one of them. So uh, I don't think that, uh, you know, that risk is part of the business. I mean, it's competitive risk, which remains. 
as far as market size of the products we have and market share we hold i can say that as far as uh, entire it all um, apart from asian paint who also has captive use we are the number one in formaldehyde also we are number one in india uh, hexamine i am not sure um, in india we are the number one <clears throat> yeah exam in also we are number one uh, then the last question you have raised about is sorry not the last the second last is about 600 crores revenue in the division how much was it driven by higher realizations versus volume i think it's a combination of both realization and volume uh, the realization actually right now is also much lower because methanol prices globally have fallen and when methanol prices fall from ldi prices fall so the realizations fall so this is again dynamic but i would say the increased turnover is a combination of both but largely driven by volume <coughs> i think as far as the margin is concerned of 8% i that should be definitely sustainable Okay. Then there are lots of questions which have been raised on the solar power, and there has been there is a feeling that solar power is a profitable business and that it will generate returns for the company. I don't want to, I mean, I, I want to dispel the view because for us, solar power has not been a good investment. I don't think that the government policy has been consistent with solar power. I still think that uh, there is a lot of development in solar power, but it is not economic development even within the country. uh it's a very welcome thing renewable energy should be addressed but i think government policy requires to undergo serious change and rethinking if this business truly uh, has to become a profitable and attractive business people are attracted to it but i don't think economically uh it is sustainable and the, the current uh, system and policies but that is my personal opinion i don't wish to get into any view or debate on that but i i i think that as far as our company is concerned this is definitely not going to be our focus uh yeah so this question as to why we are operating the plant in ethiopia and not in india well we are operating it in ethiopia it cannot be relocated to india so that question is out of is not there but whether we should have done it in india or not done it in india i mean that uh, there are many advantages in ethiopia there are many in india i can say that in terms of labor and power there is no country which is cheaper than ethiopia in terms of its comp competitiveness because uh, i mean just to share with you the power rates in ethiopia are about almost 1/6 that of india Uh, our capacity utilization in this segment has not been good but it is in the last uh, four months it has improved substantially uh, the top 5 clients i i don't want to give any uh, numbers i mean this is all uh, as i said most of the sale now is domestic we it is a i mean any number of questions can be asked about uh, this division fundamentally we have to keep looking at the possibility of how to reduce the debt and to be able to uh, improve our marketing and product development and uh, efficiencies and and that focus is there in the long run i think we we need to look at even the possibility of a strategic uh, partner or a buy in to to this business then uh, automotive industrial end user wise break up i mean this is primarily automotive the end user i mean in our case 90% of the business is automotive top 5 to 10 clients we already talked about hoof vite and hella i mean these are among the top clients and we can add a few more there is a uh, i think uh, zila beg is one and i mean they're all european names i mean it's not uh, i don't wish to give any detailed names of the customers because they are foreign to us many of them are not uh, names which are multinationals they are they are large companies but they are 
in their specific segments and operating in a particular geography. So international markets, we have our footprint in automotive. It's basically, it is international. I mean, our footprint is primarily Europe and, and in North America. I mean, we are not exporting or into any other uh, geography. Then what are our plans for this segment? This segment, I think, is the most promising segment uh, amongst all the business of the company. Uh, the chemical business and this business are the most promising. And our plans are, as already outlined in my presentation, we are, you know, there are many large companies which are looking at using us as a production base. Uh, for that, we will need to seriously bring in some uh, partners or raise capital. So that, uh, but we intend to grow that business. We intend to grow that business. Now the questions which were raised today, one was with regard to medical device about capital outlay. There is really no capital outlay as such for medical device because the equipment uh, and the quality assurance systems which are used are pretty similar. I think it's more to do with the certification, maybe some aspects of hygiene which would have to be taken care of within the plant which is not difficult because the plant itself is extremely hygienic. Uh, I think I have pretty much answered uh, all the questions. I would like to thank uh, everyone for raising these issues and for listening to the answers also very patiently. Um, so I think I have covered all these points. Thank you very much. Satyaji, is there anything else which I need to do except to draw the attention to the e-voting system? No, all matters covered. Good. So I would like to draw your attention that the facility for voting through the e-voting system of NSTN will remain open for another 15 minutes uh, from now. And thereafter, the ATM will stand concluded. I would like to thank all the shareholders who have participated in this uh, meeting virtually. And thank you very much to the fellow board uh, of directors who have um, bared with patience uh, <laughs> the this, uh, answers and to the questions. And to, thank you very much for being there and for all your support. We are required to stay on, Satya ji, or no? We, you can leave. Uh, Chairman sir, shall we end the meeting? Then we'll stop the live session once you tell us. Yes, you can stop. Yes. Okay.